These are the funniest moments in sports. Try not to laugh. There's such a thing as celebrating too hard. This Brazilian football coach was so excited, he almost took out a police officer. Nice shot! I don't know what's more ironic, the fact that this player's second name spells out immobile or that his injury disappeared once the celebrations began. This, this is not okay. This needs to stop now. You won't find a better goal celebration than this. What better way to celebrate a goal than by giving yourself a concussion? Coming in first to the finish line is always a special occasion, so this guy decided to celebrate in uncoordinated style. I'm not sure whether that was intended or not. But he does cross the first casualty in this game between the Cardinals and the Vikings was none other than the sound guy. This commentary box is about to wish it didn't set up so close to the action. Maybe that player just wanted to put his feet up for a little while. <laughs> this isn't exactly the top level of professional weightlifting. And I'm not talking about the skill or talent of the athletes, I'm more referring to the quality of the equipment. If this footballer from Congo wasn't already injured from a nasty fall during the game, then being hit by a medical cart might just be enough to make him miss more game time. Huh? After scoring an emphatic touchdown, Michael Boley tossed the ball without looking. I'm gonna go ahead and assume it was an accident, but he somehow managed to hit an official and the cameraman with the same throw. There's something about crazed UFC fans in stealing hats. It's a phenomenon that seems to plague any fighter doing his walk-in wearing a hat or beanie. These thieves never get caught either. Hey, hats off to them. Footballers are known for their theatrical performances when trying to milk a penalty. So when Daverson got a pat on the back from the referee, he thought it was his turn to give an Academy Award winning performance. Medic! This ball boy is so dedicated to his job, he throws himself in head first. Luckily, by the time anyone noticed, he'd recovered like nothing had even happened. The motorcyclist in blue is a horrible cheater. Romano Fanati was renowned for dirty tricks on the track, including kicking, screaming, and even pulling out his opponent's kill switch. This is about to be one of the closest finishes in men's hurdles history, but I think one runner wants the win just that little bit more. Can you spot which one? V8s plus a wet track equals the granddaddy of all spinouts. He might have lost the race, but at least if his career as a driver doesn't pan out, you can always take a shot at ballet. Personally, if I had a coach like Shia LaBeouf yelling inspirational quotes at me, I'd probably be a better athlete. But if we're being honest, I don't think it helped this diver out at all. After running the fastest half marathon in London's history, Robert Mabithi was taken out by the final boss, the finish line tape. After this long tennis rally, the ball boy just wanted to do his job. What did he get in return? Crash tackled. Luckily, he was fine, even getting a standing ovation from the crowd. Even if you're on opposing teams, a friendly pat on the back is always welcome. Unless, of course, it's this kind of pat, the one that earns you a red card. When Henrik Lundqvist launched his hockey stick into the crowd in celebration, he had no idea it would cause a mass brawl of super fans who wanted the souvenir for themselves. Slide tackles are one of the most essential skills needed in professional football, and this is how they train for them. When Josh Hart blocked a buzzer beater from James Harden, the frustrated baller seemed to want to punish himself. I'm not sure Josh Hart believed what he just saw. He the ball to the ground and came up. After training for most of his adult life, Jeffrey Jolmus was pumped to finally be competing in the Olympic Games. But competing at the top level has its hurdles, and Jeffrey fell on the first one. There's goal celebrations, and then there's deliberate destruction of property. I'm not sure if this player meant to go through the glass and join the spectators, or if he genuinely thought it would hold his weight. This footballer's doing the respectful thing and passing the ball back to his opposition for a throw-in. Or is he? Tango down. Sometimes you see your moment and you gotta shoot your shot. Like this kid spotted in the background. He's about to steal this player's thunder who looks more than a little unimpressed. You only need two things to compete in the Winter Olympic skeleton race. A fast run up and to land straight on your sled. Guess which one she forgot. There's three things you need as an ice hockey player. Your skates, a helmet, and your stick. It doesn't help when your opposition takes one of them. It's not just athletes that find themselves falling over during matches. This cameraman should have looked where he was going. Instead, we get a nice view of the shoes he's wearing. 
Somewhere in between strike and take a walk to first is this softball pitch, which ended up firmly wedged in this girl's helmet. This innocent back pass is a routine move practiced endlessly at training. And good news, the goalie is watching and paying attention. Only this happens. I wonder who's getting cut next week. Dunks in basketball are 99% guaranteed to go in. The clue is in the name. Despite this, accidents happen, and Russell Westbrook was convinced there was something wrong with the ring when he missed his. This encounter between a live reporter and a man with a suspiciously large inflatable banana is about to escalate out of control. He goes from annoyance to full-on rage mode in under 10 seconds. This winner's speech is about to be video bombed by none other than Jungle Birdman. Apparently, there's a message about conservation in there somewhere, but he's too ridiculous to take seriously. Robin isn't too happy about being taken off the field. How do you even give someone an aggressive high five? I guess after a timeout, his tantrum will be over. When a perfect corner results in one of the easiest shots of the century, Philip Hoffman somehow missed. I've never seen someone more determined to crawl into the ground and disappear. This reporter says he's excited about the snow season, but how can he tell? Well, for starters, that kid on a sled has him head over heels. That was a bad idea. This local match of football is about to get a very unexpected guest drop in. Maybe he just wanted a good view of the game. Either way, I'm sure he didn't buy a ticket. <laughs> yeah, boy. After four long years of training, it's this gymnast's dream to make his country proud. I'm just not sure his landing was part of the plan. It's time to stop! It's time to stop! There's a reason some people are players and others spectators. Most of it comes down to talent, skill, and coordination, none of which this guy has. I'm dying. When this footballer scored a goal just before full time, the crowd went wild, with one fan throwing a cup of beer at their hero. Not even the movies have endings as great as this. This goalkeeper's about to make football's cardinal sin. Take your eyes off the ball. By the time he saw the thrown ball, it was already too late. On camera, Trey looks normal sized. That is, until you put him next to the one and only Shaq, who manhandles his beard like a fluffy pet. This rookie's about to score his very first goal, and while the crowd goes wild, his teammates choose to celebrate with him in a very different way. I can't think of a more intense sport than curling. Okay, maybe that's not entirely true. But in this crazy game, one athlete forgets about a previously curled stone and takes a tumble. Now, we know that all injuries in international football are just elaborate dives, but sometimes your medical staff can make a minor injury even worse. With that kind of coordination, maybe the medical field isn't for you. Bye, have a great time.